Hey Frugivore, welcome back to Frugivore Diet Channel. So it's been a little bit of a break in between making videos because we've got the tropical monsoon hitting here and it's impossible to make videos, but we are back. We are back and this video we are going to look at Vanessa Tilio, Tilio, I'm not sure, her, her video, she has 325,000 subscribers and she hit the SEO here um, with this, the ultimate guide to being that girl. So I have seen this term around that girl. I'm not exactly sure, um, you know, the latest trending kind of terms on social media. I'm not sure of them. So I had to look up Urban Dictionary, didn't I? So that girl, as far as this Urban Dictionary definition goes, is known mostly on TikTok as, yeah, that girl is a girl of any gender um, that gets up at 5 a.m., meditates, drinks smoothies, it sounds like me, <laughs> has showers every day. Well, don't most people have showers? That's a strange one. Journaling, I try to. Eating only healthy food, yeah. Um, goes to the gym every day and is successful in many ways. This stereotype is typically on TikTok and films morning or night routines. Most likely rich too. I want to be that girl my goals in life is to be that girl okay so that girl sounds quite appealing it sounds like a lot of it doesn't sound all bad right oh, gets up 5 a.m has a shit together drinks smoothies eats healthy food i mean i think that's great and so this girl Je vanessa has the ultimate guide to being that girl and we're going to check it out because i feel like i also have the recipe for being that girl for just being that happy healthy girl right but before we go on check out my instagram page whoops this is not really set up properly here but check out my instagram because uh, i don't really talk about it too much but i am on there every day pretty much on the stories and i just posted this video i'm um, this picture here and there's some videos and i also have the frugivore diet and my crafts where i do my crochet and where i do my um uh, just creating DIY do it yourself right so yeah go and check out my Instagram accounts follow me over there if you want some more daily kind of action and yeah might find it interesting all right let's get back to it shall we the ultimate guide to being that girl vote on the video let me know in the comments below what you think I want to read your comments I want to see what you think about this all right. Pink, becoming that girl, it must be really high search engine, you know, hitting thing. So she, she got in there. No, we don't need that. Working out, nourishing your body, journaling, self-care, mental care, overall. I mean, that's just being like a healthy human, right? Um, a guide to becoming that girl, growing into the best version of yourself. All right, let's go. Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another video. So quickly, before we get into this video, I kind of wanted to give my two cents on the that girl trend because I've seen a lot of positives and I've seen a few negatives. So I just wanted to give my quick comment on it. Personally, I really think the that girl trend is about being productive and it's supposed to be really motivating. It's not bashing that you're supposed to have this one routine or one way to live and that if you're not being super productive, then like that's not okay. It's more so working towards the best version of yourself being. I really feel like, you know, there's this movement in social media, particularly at the moment, of being pathetic and actually like celebrating being mediocre, you know, not being your best. And that should be really rallied against. We should be standing against that and trying to be our best, right? We only get one shot at this life. Like, it's just ridiculous to throw that beautiful experience, you know, away, just throw that opportunity away. So, yeah, we don't want to be pathetic. We want to be our best. Being that ideal girl that you have in your head and it looks different for everybody whatever it is that you think being that girl is go out and do it keep working on yourself we can always grow more as people like I think our growth is always continuous and we're never going to stop and I really think that this trend motivates people to keep growing and like change little things in their daily routines daily habits that they can implement that overall just helps to improve their life okay good we like that we like that let's go so I hope I explained that well enough, but let's just I mean, get it. It sounds positive. It sounds positive. I don't see anything wrong with that. I think that's great. To this video, I hope you guys enjoy. Personally, Thanks. I feel like the that girl day starts with the night routine. So I'm setting my alarm. Wow. So she has already failed at being that girl because she, 
<laughs> she went to bed at 10 to 20 p.m. Just a little bit of a note. I go to bed at around 7, 7.30 p.m. I, I try to do the, I mean, I don't even try. I naturally fall asleep, you know, I start to fall, get tired as the sun goes down and I wake up with the sun mostly or I get up early and I make video. Um, but 10.20, whoa, go. Currently, almost 10.20, I'm going to get up at 5.50. It's about seven and a half hours. Normally, I try and aim for eight, but I didn't realize how early I was going to get up for a day as that girl, but yeah. Yeah, it's really important to your healing and your psychological health to get to bed early, okay? You should be in bed by 10, oh, at the very la latest. I mean, like, in by bed by eight. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, let's go. Make bed, yeah, it's a good habit to get into to make the bed for sure. No music, no. Okay, she's getting up, right. Okay, we're seeing her stretch a few times, making the bed. I mean, I think making the bed is a good, it's definitely a good um, routine to get into. And I must say, I do not do it. I sometimes do it. All right, skincare. I noticed that she was wearing makeup before and that is not caring for your skin. I'm just letting you know, okay? Putting on this basically um, paint, face paint over your pores is not looking after the skin. Okay, we have some more music. Hopefully we can get past the music, but I mean, I see all these products. This is unnecessary, okay? This stuff, this stuff probably has that... Um, sodium benzoate in it and all sorts of like chemicals I bet it does just unnecessary and it's not caring for your skin caring for your skin is going for a run is eating fruit is drinking adequate clean water getting that sunshine on your skin not putting on the Colts chemicals okay good morning so I just woke up it is around 6 a.m. I just did my skincare we are starting off the day as that girl and <laughs> made my bed it's a thing but the, the skincare routine I mean like this is where a lot of women go wrong it's not okay it's not on the outside right good skin comes from within and I honestly like my face I'm very happy with the skin like I used to really be unhappy with my skin now it is just I don't get pimples at all I don't like I have minimal wrinkles and I'm you know 42 soon so like I don't know, it's just like fruits, you know, fruits and water and exercise and sun is the ticket. Sweating is great. Seriously, if you want to be that girl, then look, Raw Tool 4 shows you how, right? That healthy girl, that happy girl, that, you know, nourished girl, like just be that woman. Basically, we don't want to be girls. We kind of leave that status when we're, you know, 12 or 13. Um, you know, be, be that woman who is going to be easy to be around, is going to enjoy life and is looking after themselves optimally. And these individuals in these testimonials who have done Raw Till 4, uh, Elena lost like 105 pounds, Ashley lost 85 pounds, they cured IBS, they cured a whole lot of health issues, they regained their health or gained it for the first time. And any of you can, who are watching this video, any of you can be that woman. <laughs> Or that man, you know, who is like looking after themselves and not being pathetic and setting, settling for being mediocre, which we don't want. So check out Raw Till 4, Go Fruit Yourself, a fruit-based lifestyle. The links to the physical books and the e-books, sorry, the e-books are down below. Physical books are on Amazon, but if you want to get the books instantly, I recommend you get the e-books. Um, and they're a lot cheaper as well. And um, yeah, get on this lifestyle. Poppy lost 130 pounds on Raw Till 4. It works. It really works. It's a lifestyle you can do for life. It is nourishing. You need to value yourself. Things that I typically do first thing in my morning routine anyways. Some of the other like- Oh yeah, some people ask me, I'm sorry, I'm stopping a lot, but some people asking me about my skin is like, I never use moisturizer. I never put anything on it. I don't wash it with anything. I don't use a cleanser. I used to do all these things and put the makeup on and all of that. Leave it alone. Leave your skin to breathe, please. Little habits that I picked up were like drinking a lemon water, doing gratitude and drink. Okay, so the lemon water is to get the bowels moving for a lot of these young women because they're not having enough calories and they're not having enough fiber. So they need that stimulation to their, their um, colon basically to release 
Boop. <laughs> um, but look, when you eat a high fruit diet, when you eat fruit based diet, you don't need that lemon water simulation. Journaling, which I do sometimes, I don't do every day. Going for a morning walk, you know, green juice. More I mean, I do, I do enjoy like some lime and water sometimes just for the taste. It isn't for a simulation like it is for a lot of these women. Green juice, fiber, please. Fiber. Morning workout, healthy breakfast, to-do list, all of that good stuff. I'm excited to get this day started. Okay, I feel like a lot of these things are things that I already do. This green crew neck this morning. Okay, let's get on to the day here. It's already pretty warm out. It's a little breezy, but it is only like 6.20 a.m. So, didn't get up early enough to watch the sunrise, but that's okay. I feel like it's gonna be a beautiful day. Like it's not too humid out, so. Yeah, well we spoke about the lemon water. Journaling. I think journaling is great. Please do it. Like it's great to look back on your experience, especially if like you want to make comparisons, you know, it's really, really good to do journaling. So I, I think that's a great uh, way to become that girl. Um, your mental health as well as physical health. So I'm going to do my little five minute gratitude journal as well as my daily to do lists. Also, if you guys haven't seen this already, it's my little Dr. Zeus notebook. I think it's adorable. Basically, in this little journal, all I do is my to-dos, daily goals, how can I improve, and then something for me. Ooh. And this is like my mental care for me. It's kind of like a little check-in daily for me. I think that's great. I really support that. And I like writing four things or even just verbally speaking it. Uh, Snoopy and I often do it where we will, you know, just list out loud, you know, when we're in bed, what we uh, are grateful for for the day. Four things, what we're grateful for. We also do Wim Hof breathing every night. I also do, I should say, a yo um, yoga. I do an hour of yoga every single day. I have done for months now. Um, half an hour on, uh, in the rising and half an hour in the evening. Okay. There's a lot of music going on here, which makes it difficult clothes and then apparently i like this color today but i'm gonna throw this on in case it gets a little cool because i'm gonna go on a walk first and listen to a podcast wearing this little alpha elite bra and then nike pros because i don't actually have any like short matching sets also okay. Okay, she's going for a walk i've been i support that definitely walk is great uh, i would recommend even a jog see i go for a jog every Oh, every day at the moment, I actually go for a jog. So um, sometimes I might miss a day here and there, but it's just, it's a 30 minute jog. There are some uh, undulation, like undulating kind of like hills, rolling hills in it. And it's amazing. I love it. Best skin like workout too. Can we get back? Again, but my 25 pound dumbbells are not doing it justice. I miss my like 180 pound hip thrusts. That's all, let's work out. <laughs> And I don't think you have to really do um, weights too much, okay? I don't really, you know, for me, it's like yoga is very effective and also doing push-ups, using your body weight, chin-ups, that sort of thing. So don't worry too much about doing weights, but it's still healthy. Some of it to me. Okay, wow, so much music. Um, yeah, okay, so she's doing weights. I think that is great. I want to get to the food more than anything, really, but... All right, so get ready, shower, hair, and makeup. Okay. She has a lot of chemicals there. This is a lot of chemicals. And I know there are many of you who apply makeup every day. And it's this is not an attack on you or anything like that. Just see me as the messenger, okay? I'm just bringing you the truth here. I'm just telling you that these products here are not going to be healthy for your skin, which is your largest organ. You don't want to cover it in paint. You don't want to suffocate, you know, the, the pores, for instance. Okay, so, yeah. I mean, the hot iron, like, oh, she's doing the curls. Just do cold curls. Seriously, overnight, put your hair in a bun. This is what I do every single night. Put the hair in a bun. And then in the morning, in the rising, I, I let it down. And it comes in beautiful curls. And then you don't have to damage. This is damaging your hair. So this is not actually a healthy practice. It's damaging. It's putting heat on your hair. 
and I used to do it myself, but you can just do cold curls, it's so much better. I did my hair and my makeup and I got dressed. I'm just wearing this little yellow Princess Polly dress because I feel like another aspect of being that girl is like, you already have your ish together, so like, you get ready for the day before the day even gets started. You know, you do your hair, you do your makeup, you get all dressed, but I also just feel like it makes you sometimes a lot more productive and you get things done if you kind of put yourself together and you get all ready for the day. So that is what I... I guess for me, getting ready for the day is, you know, I'll get up, I'll, I'll drink a little bit of water and then I'll just go straight for a jog because I don't leave any time in between, you know, to like, uh, oh, I'm not going to jog or, I mean, but hang on, sometimes I do make a video. So I do go straight to a video and then I'll do a jog. But I always make sure I prioritize that jog. It is so good. And come back, come back and do the yoga and I agree, like if you have this routine, routine is very important, very important, a healthy routine. I did today, um, I am literally starving now, so it's breakfast time. Okay, now I'm nervous. I <laughs> Breakfast and caffeine. <laughs> I should have known, right? I should have known. Wow, this is a big, this is a big bag here. So she's starting the day with drugs and that is not part of being that girl. Come on, you know, that's not having your shit together. That's being weak. I see it as a weakness. It's an absolute weakness. Okay, oh, it's good. I mean, good as in, I can't have my standards too high because I don't even think this individual is plant-based at all. Oh, I couldn't see what that was. Oh, mocha berry. Okay, so coffee, wow. Yeah, that's a lot. She's got one of the, she's got an espresso sheen. So she's getting really strong stuff there. You know, if you have to drink drugs like this, if this is part of your, your daily routine, then there's something wrong with your diet, okay? There's something wrong with your diet and your lifestyle, and it, it stems from the diet because you, because you have a deficient diet. So she's showing other girls how to stay deficient. Um, what milk is that? I think it might be a plant milk. Let's hope so. Hope so. Oh, milk. Hang on. What does that say? Oat milk, honey, latte. Okay, so yeah, she's not having enough fruit, so she wants to steal the bees' honey. Uh, it's oat milk at least, that's good. But yeah, see how much of a routine, I see how much of a like a, you know, focuses so much on making the whole coffee business. You know, that should not be a part of anyone's day. A lot of music, and there's a tiny serve. This is the spoon. You can see how big. The spoon is, <laughs> and the bowl. Wow, that is very, very tiny. She needs more fruit. She needs more food in general. This is part of why she's having drugs. And like and a lot of peanut butter. Honestly, this is not this is not the way to go. You're fattening up your bloodstream first thing when you want high energy, and it's gonna steal your energy. Okay, so here we go. She's gonna talk again. Day started, so I'm gonna sit out here. I'm gonna eat my oats, and I just added pomegranate, raspberries, banana, coconut, and peanut butter on top. It's just it's too small serve. I know it might look like oh, it's a reasonable size serve. It's not. You gotta fill your stomach in order to get that satiation signal back to your brain, so you feel satisfied, and then you don't binge later on. And drink my coffee, but get my workday started. Answer emails. And then my plan is to go to the... But the problem is she's filling up her stomach sack, which is what it is. Someone asked me, what is a stomach sack? So your sack, you know. Um, and she's filling it up with liquid, with this coffee, instead of actual good fiber-rich, carbohydrate-rich food. Grocery store, probably in about 35, 40 minutes after I'm done, like, answering emails. Okay. We will go to... I have to jump along here or the video. Let's do a quick little grocery haul. I just forever. got back. So first thing. Grocery haul. Let's go. We got a bag of avocados. Ooh, got good. two red mangoes. A papaya okay, because it is papaya boat season and I've been obsessed with them. I literally. It's so sad how like unripe everything is. Like that's the reality of most people's uh, fruit availability. That's why you got to try to grow your own or go to farmer's markets. That's always Love best. Them. But it's good. She's got blueberries. Fruit. Good fruit. Bloobs, Bananas. Good. Greek yogurt because uh. the skirt was too expensive this week. Um, it's basically the same, but sometimes I find Greek yogurt breaks me out a little bit more. But zero. Yes, it's just pus. It's just pussy. Percent. It's like why would you broccoli, bother? Broccoli, cucumber. Cruel to cows. I saw some chicken. 
Oh no. So she's got, I mean, so she failed right there. She failed right there with the Greek yogurt and with the dead bird. Obviously that girl, that girl who got her shit together, who is like onto it, is not going to be eating dead birds. You know, like if she's not careful, she's going to end up being that girl with cancer, right? Of course, a big thing of spinach. Okay, but spoof. I'm going to get back to work now before it's time for lunch. It's around 11 o'clock, so I'll probably work for about an hour and then have a little lunch break. So something else okay. that I haven't talked about yet, but I feel like I should because I've seen this in a lot of routines as well, is reading and like reading for enjoyment or reading for- Reading is great, depending on what you're reading, of course. For self-improvement. I currently am just reading for enjoyment, not really for self-improvement. I'm rereading the Court of Thorn and Roses series. I kind of, I kind of find it like quite a waste of time to be reading novels, you know, like just make believe, you know what I mean? I feel like there's so much to learn about the real world that going into some fantasy world, uh, like I, I, I get it. I get why people want to do it, but it's not for me. It never really has been. I have watched the occasional movie, you know, fantasy movie, and I do, yeah, I definitely, I mean, I've, I've watched a lot of them over my lifetime, and I can see the value in it, and you kind of just switch off and go somewhere else, but when it comes to books, I'm not into reading any novels. I, I really like to, um, non-fiction. So anyway, let's move along, but it's a good practice to read. Green shoes, of course. Uh, tin, tin, tin. Oh, she's got the wartime going here. A quick, but she's got. Okay, she's got some fresh, good. Favorite easy salad. She's already, she's already doing better than Abby Sharp. It's, it's a tuna chickpea salad. Oh no! So she's got the heavy metals, um, just encased in that metal as well in this tin. You know that lasts for years and years and years. It's from just stealing sea life from their home and uh, basically getting poisoned by by them. Salad, if you want this to be plant-based, sub for some. Just like chuck it in the bunker, right? Non-dairy cheese and then not tuna, just use chickpeas and then maybe add black beans, but you just need cherry tomatoes, cucumber, avocado, red pepper. Red pepper. I don't know what else is sound. Um, all right, so fresh, still good. Green olives, and then I'll show you how to make the dressing. But I mean, like, there, there just isn't a lot of bulk. There isn't a lot of bulk. But, um, yeah. Alright, so we've got more music. Um, light tuna. Oh, gosh. Oh, that, that's crazy to be, okay. That's crazy to be having light tuna, right? I mean, to have, be having tuna at all. It's a massive, a massive fish that eats the smaller fish and the mercury and the heavy metals concentrate in the flesh of of the tuna and then we eat it. It's just crazy. It's really unhealthy. Feeling low. Okay, cucumber. All right, 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 right. All right. So, I mean, that looks beautiful. That looks beautiful and fresh, but a very tiny serve yet again. You need to eat a lot more bulk. If you're going to eat plants like this, you need to eat a lot of bulk and you get to. It's not like you need to, it's like you get to. It's like a celebration. You get to eat as much as you care for right because it's very low in calories right very low in calories so you can eat a lot and you should eat a lot sorry about all this turning off and on of the music but i just have to um yeah this is some salt very salty what is that stuff uh red wine vinegar maybe olive oil okay so she's adding the fat too much fat okay so let's go here all right, so she added some feta, it seemed like. Oh, wait, sorry, that, that was probably like the um, Greek yogurt. Maybe. You guys are probably thinking I forgot something so important that is like integral to being that girl, and that's green juices. Now, if you've been around my channel a while, you know I normally like to make like a green juice smoothie so that it's more filling, and normally that's like a first or second breakfast, like it's part two of my breakfast. That's good that she has a green smoothie rather than green juice. It is more filling, yes, better for you. This but because you know we're really emulating that girl and like green juice green juice not just green smoothies got a surprise oh she I bought it juices. oh so she was lazy and she just bought it <laughs> like seriously come on you can make your own green juice um but yeah okay okay so i'm gonna go for it's i think be... this fresh one here it's gonna be mostly dead 
Green I juice. I mean, obviously with... the minerals aren't going to be dead, but you know, a lot of elements. Lunch. Let's go eat outside. Okay, so this is like a low calorie, you know, low calorie breakfast, basically low calorie lunch. She isn't up to a lot of calories. I mean, I'd be very generous to say a thousand at this point. All right, lunch. I mean, oh, the bowl is bigger than the bowl is bigger than I thought it would be, actually. All right. It is bigger than I thought it would be. So, but still probably around a thousand all up with the, with the oats. Lunch, and I thought I'd do a little taste test of the dose juice because I've never had them before. With the juice. So, yeah. like I said, have the fresh one. It's cucumber, orange, kale, and more. <laughs> That's what it says, but. Hang on, this appears to be no more eating. <laughs> there appears to be no more eating, hang on. Uh, sugar all natural so it's just from the like orange and stuff yeah you know what I like it I feel like it's like one of those like every so often maybe okay positive vibes and healthy habits and I hope you guys learned a thing or two I was thinking of hang on, hang on. morning to afternoon yeah you know what I like it I feel like it's like one of those like every so often maybe once a month things I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this morning to afternoon day of trying to be oh. like really be that girl, really emulating all these positive vibes and healthy habits. And I hope you guys learned a thing or two. I was thinking of doing kind of like an afternoon to evening that girl because I know some people aren't morning people. Okay, so we didn't end up getting to see her dinner, but I'm just going to comment on her, what she feels is the making of that girl and um the things that i would definitely congratulate her on and agree with uh you know making is setting healthy habits doing them every day exercising uh i think that is great journaling that's fantastic she ate more plants than i thought uh well than most than abby sharp right which was great but she obviously had animal bits and pieces in there as well and she did buy be dead bird which yeah is obviously ridiculous as a frugivore animal um but yeah so she did have some things right there definitely but putting on the makeup putting on the makeup using all this skincare i don't like to call it skincare because it's not caring for your skin it's just a lie that has been marketed to us by this like um just by shills you know what i mean like just by people wanting to make money off your ignorance you know so buying all these products like cleansers moisturizers, oh, all of that is a symptom of poor diet and lifestyle so if you clean up your diet and your lifestyle there's no dry skin there's no pimples there's no skin issues i'm telling you it's amazing unless you're taking some drugs and stuff but that's what i mean clean clean up your diet and your lifestyle don't take that stuff. So yeah, and coffee, obviously, she's starting there with drugs, she's having drugs, recommending it to others, basically, making it okay. Um, yeah, otherwise, not terrible, but yeah, not fantastic either. But anyway, I wanted to cover this because it is very popular and a lot of young women are watching it and I want to have a positive influence on these young women. Hopefully get into the search and be like, hey, over here, try fruit-based diet. This is amazing. This really works. So you know, in order to be that girl. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to go fruit yourself today. Follow me on Instagram and I will talk to you soon.